everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. Today I'm doing a $200 Hanford grocery haul. I just got in my groceries and I figured I would share them with you guys today because I have not done a grocery haul in a really long time. If you see my dog pacing around behind me, I ordered these groceries from Instacart, which by the way, if you are not already using Instacart, what are you doing? It makes your life so much easier, especially as a busy mom. And I will leave my affiliate code down below if you want to use it. I believe you get $30 off your first order. Anyway, my dog is definitely a uh, security protection sort of dog, and he really does not like when strangers come to our house. So he's a bit on edge. But anyway, let's get right into the haul. I'm sure you guys can see that right here I have a bag that I absolutely demolished trying to hold it from the corner. Let's start off with this one. So the first thing I got was some Dave's Killer Bread. They're white bread done right. I absolutely love this bread. If you are new, I have lost over 50 pounds and I did so without counting calories, points, or macros and without cutting out food groups like carbs. And this is definitely been one of my favorite carbs consistently throughout my weight loss journey. Love this bread. I also got some hamburger buns, bananas. You can definitely tell when a man versus a woman, a woman shops for you because whenever a man does my Instacart, my groceries are bagged so randomly. I also got some baby carrots and some pickles. If you have noticed a theme here, I'm going to be making some hamburgers for dinner tonight. And I also got stuff to make homemade pizza. Those are two big hits for dinners in our house. Hudson, my three-year-old, his latest obsession has been with these Uncrustables. I never used to buy these for him. I will be honest and say I gave in. My fiance, John, started buying these for the kids and ever since then, Hudson is hooked and now he eats one of these like literally every day. Speaking of junk food that I always said I wouldn't buy, but now that I am a mom of three and have been a mom for six and a half years, I buy all the things I said I wouldn't pizza bagels. The kids love these as well. Easy snack, easy dinner, whatever the case may be, they love these. Look at this bag, literally destroyed. Of course, I had to get some milk for the kiddos, also for the kids to drink, and I drink these too, but these true lemon packets. I got the strawberry lemonade and also the cherry limeade. These are my two favorites, and the kids and I both love these. If you have kids that are always wanting to drink really sugary juices and lemonades, highly recommend these. They're really good ingredients and the kids love them. I am running out of my favorite ranch dressing, the Bolt House Classic Ranch. This is so good. It's only 50 calories per serving and it tastes absolutely delicious. So I had to get another one of those. I also got some cranberry juice for myself. So funny story, I started drinking this morning health shot and it is really, really good for you. It has so many key benefits, but it is disgusting, like makes you gag, disgusting. And I heard around the grapevine from some of my friends that if you mix it with cranberry juice instead of water, it makes it a lot more bearable. So I decided to get some pure cranberry juice so I can try that theory out. I also got some half and half for our coffee. As I said, we are gonna be doing homemade pizzas. So I grabbed some pepperoni for that. Also a big bag of mozzarella cheese. And then for our hamburgers, I just got some ground beef so we can make our own burgers. I love to buy those pre-made patties, but now that I have a family of five, it is really expensive to buy the pre-made ones because typically they come in a pack of four and then I have to buy two and it's just excessive. So I just like to get some ground beef and make the burgers myself now. We also needed some more ketchup, always am rebuying this, I swear, every week. And I got some provolone cheese. We have a lot of stuff to make sandwiches. We have a lot of deli meat, but we ran out of any good cheese. We only had American left. So I got some of this so I can make sandwiches. Bag number two. This is the pizza crust that I got for us to make our homemade pizzas. It's the Stonefire um, Artisan Thin Pizza Crust. I really like these and the kids do too. The kids love homemade pizza. I swear that is like their favorite dinner that I make. And I also grabbed some more eggs. We were running low. All right, my last bag I think is the most full. So I went ahead and grabbed some um, spring mix so that I can make salads and I'm super excited for that. I have not had a good homemade 
made salad in a while, so I'm excited to make one today. And then I also grabbed some organic peppers. I tried to get all of my produce organic, but honestly, I'm not like a freak about it. If they are out of something that's organic, I would just grab the regular version. Got some little tomatoes. These are so yummy and my girls love them as well. We also got some cucumbers. These are funny, they are like pickled cucumbers. They look really fresh, like they're right out of the garden, so love that. And I also got some apples. We should probably go apple picking because it's definitely apple picking season here in Vermont, but we haven't yet, so I just bought some from a bag. I hate how they put everything in a bag. It's so wasteful. I got a yellow squash and a zucchini. I love to chop these up, mix them together in a pan with some seasonings and some garlic. It's so, so delicious. I love doing that as a side to my dinner or my lunch. Also got this big, giant bag of chicken strips. I figured that the kids could eat these and I also will use this as an easy protein for my lunches, top it on salads, just eat it with some ranch whatever I'm feeling like. I love having frozen chicken in the house. I already have some frozen grilled chicken, so I wanted to get some that was breaded. And last but not least, I'm so excited to try this out, some pumpkin spice coffee creamer. We actually had no coffee creamer, no milk in the house this morning, so I have not had coffee yet today, and it is 10.43. So I'm gonna make myself some coffee the second I'm done with this video, and I'm so excited to try this out. This is obviously not very good for you, but I am all about not restricting yourself and allowing yourself to have some little treats. That is everything I got for this week's grocery haul. Let me know if you guys like these videos. I feel like it was really short, sweet, to the point, but sometimes that's okay, right? So let me know if you guys do like seeing these videos and I will definitely do more of them. But if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave in the comments below if you do want to see more grocery hauls or if I should just add them into my vlogs or what you think, and I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye.